President Jame continues to receive support in his farms from various quarters. An estimated 2,500 personnel from the country's various security services descended on his numerous farms in Kanila at the weekend. It is all geared towards what the service chiefs describe as absolute solidarity with the president's efforts to attain food security. Abdinjai reports that officials of the International Parliament for Safety and Peace, who recently conferred on him four prestigious awards, were also in Kanilai during the weekend retreat. They were drawn from the country's security establishment for the ultimate task in Kanilai. It has become an annual tradition sustained over the years and it strikes an appropriate balance between the urgent need for sacrifice and the show of camaraderie between the services. The service chiefs were at the forefront of the voluntary exercise and the impact was enormous. The groundnut farms along the perimeter fence of the Bunubor Forest Park and the western region fell to their hoes. In spirit and tactfulness intake 31 Alpha of the Gambian Armed Forces and recruits of the police force pulled through in perhaps their first chapter of humanitarian work. I want to take this opportunity to thank all the service chiefs and to thank all the services, you know, because the numbers, you know, are, were really beyond my, you know, wildest, you know, expectation, you know. But again, you know, it, they are not answering to my call. They are answering to the call of His Excellency the President. Every time, you know, he calls for uh, Gambians, you know, to, to, you know, to, 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 to give a hand, especially members of the security forces, you can be rest assured that you will receive them in numbers. So this is uh, something, you know, we, uh, we motivated ourselves. And uh, it is not just, you know, one person's call that made this possible. But because people, uh, they know what they want to do and they know, you know, um, um, what, what, what is good for them. And, 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 and they, they are under the, the right you know, direction and, and guidance in, in all the services and, and that is what actually is, is behind all this. We are part of the Gambian population and it is essentially ideal for, also for all of us to come here on a yearly basis just to answer to that call. We have enough rain and the land is fertile so Aki's call for us to go to the land is to help us so that we don't depend on import. The president's agricultural pronouncement did more than recruiting potential volunteers to Kanilai, but beyond that promotes and register a noticeable increase in community farming. It is, after all, an opportunity, a relative term born out of the conviction to rally efforts for a sustained course towards food security. Though it's the duty of everybody, and as we are here, we are not farming for him, we are farming for ourselves and for our entire people of the Gambia. Professor Jame was meanwhile on a field trip introducing a rather curious delegation from the International Parliament for Safety and Peace to his vast agricultural projects. The officials have few days ago conferred on him four prestigious awards from their country group initiatives, notably the United States and Germany. It was a collection of sentiments and the witness of the German leaders' pragmatism they will later attest to in an interview with GRTS. Well, actually, we have been here in 2008, and His Excellency said that he wanted to show us many, many things, but our time plane was too short, so he asked us this time to stay longer, and we are quite surprised how well integrated he is in his own words and his own work, and we must say the progress is fantastic, and seeing him together with his people working and bringing ag agriculture forward is very, very impressive, and I can tell you it is very impressive for the Gambia that His Excellency really cares for all the work which is done in the country. Not only the tourism, but also the agriculture, which is a very, very important sector for a nation to feed themselves, to maintain themselves, sustain themselves. His Excellency is advised for right or foresight to do so, and we see the result. We see a modern agriculture here. It's very, very amazing, and we are very happy for the Gambia and for His Excellency, the President. The President spent a considerable amount of time seeking the many hands spreading forward from individual personnel who form a circle at the end of a day's work. It was a sensational privilege that will leave a lasting impression on officers and non-officers alike for the simple fact that the courtesy was out of the ordinary. Remember also that they didn't start here. They started somewhere else, about four kilometers long, maybe 200 meters wide. That is the perimeter of, uh, you remember the famous Bunubo? This year we decided not to cultivate it because now it's a major ranch. And so uh, this other side, the cattle were here before, that is why we are cultivating this year. The cattle were here for four years. So we transferred them to Bunubo. So we decided to leave Bunubo and cultivate here this year. Yeah, they did a very, very good job. And uh, I was praying for it not to rain, but now it's raining. But I think uh, the grass is gone already. So they did a very great job. 
And also, this is also enhancing unity and camaraderie among the forces because other this, they wouldn't have had an occasion where they meet and work together. The recruits fell into formation, a usual military practice and an impetus for discipline, only this time to walk the president home. It was a slow procession stretching beyond three kilometers under a slight downpour. But the sowers were absorbed by their rising voices, spoken by a majority of the population, projecting a growing confidence in President Jammeh's government.